What's going on you guys, Slim Team Symmetry here to bring you guys a really cool game that I had with one of my really good friends. Uh, he's playing uh, Machina Gadgets, uh, Tim played Gadget, Kage Takage, and of course I'm still using Dark World. I wanted to actually show this game because this is one of the best games we've had and um, it was really well played on both of our parts I feel. Uh, as you guys can see, he does run the Kage Takage, so he goes and searches for another one. You know, really good opening play, you're already in the plus. And, you know, my hand's, my hand's pretty decent, actually. Having double drag down is really cool. You're able to just, you know, with double graphic, you're able to pop. I mean, I know I'm going to be able to go pop, pop, and get both the cards out of the way. I was fortunate enough to draw a brow so that I'd be able to get graph up in the same turn. So, I was fortunate. As you guys can see, I'm not eliminating Dark Hole. I'm not eliminating cards that... I'm, I'm basically just going to get graph back regardless, so that doesn't bother me. Cards that bother me are cards that can create advantage or cards that can banish graph without me being able to get it back immediately, especially if I only have one uh, in my possession, but at the time I have two, so I'm feeling pretty confident. Uh, as you guys can see, he, he goes into a gadget, and I know like the majority of his hand uh, outside of the cards he drew out off a drag down, so I'm not too, too worried. As you guys can see, having Tour Guide is just great. I love running Tour Guide again because Tour Guide gets me my brow. And most people would think, you know, why didn't you attack? With two back row, I'd never attack. Because if one of those is deep prison, I lose graph. But even though I have another one, it's not the same. I like having all my graphas. I always feel Zen Main is one of the best plays the deck can make because it's a solid wall. And there's only one compulse this format. So I'm not too, too worried. And I mean, unless he wants to invest two gadgets or two level fours into making a black ship of corn which graphic can just run over I really don't see the point so I draw another tour guide you know pretty lucky that's the one thing is that it's hard to really say how accurate these matches are for the fact that luck is a big factor in the real game and also a factor when you're playing online I do make doubles end mains and most people are like you're crazy um, but I like the defense you guys can see I made the mistake I attacked and I lost graph right there the reason why I'm not too worried is like I told you guys I do main return from a different dimension so if I am able to get it back, uh, it does work out pretty nicely. Plus, I do have another graph on Grave. As you guys can see, he goes into more gadgets and makes Geary Giant X, gets another plus, and he has Timplate, uh, Timplate Goldfish, which to me is a problem card just for the fact that it's just it's really good. It really adds a lot of synergy to the deck. As you guys can see, I'm drawing really well. Uh, I love Snow. Snow is definitely, like, after Graph, my favorite card because of just how well it works with the deck. And having the gates, having access to the gates is great. And I do decide to activate Reckless. Like I told you guys I am running Reckless. I love Reckless Greed. Like when I eventually profile this deck, once I find a solid build for it, I'm going to explain all my choices. Uh, it's very basic, back to how Turbo Dark World used to be. I've mentioned that in previous videos. Uh, the knowledge that I gained here was huge in this game. Mind crushing away two template goldfishes was amazing because I got to look at his hand for a quick second. Valor does nothing to me now that my tour guides are used up. So Valor's a dead card and he's sitting on fortress and cannon, which don't bother me either because if you pop a card, like to me, it really doesn't matter. I'm going to get Graffa back the majority of the time. So I drew into another Reckless, I set the Reckless. Reckless is just too good. He decides to blind MST and he blind MSTs my Reckless, which is just such a great feeling because I'm just going to draw two cards. And they are really good cards. I drew the other Reckless. I'm literally going to go through all my Recklesses this game and it was just really cool to be able to do that. Um, I do decide to Dark Hole thinking that I'd be safe and being able to get a double pop from Zen Mains. I was wrong. He did have Fiendish Chain, which I didn't, you know, I didn't make a read on Fiendish Chain. So I lost one Zen Mains and then the other Zen Mains popped uh, the card he had set, which was Mirror Force. Mirror Force doesn't hurt me that much, but it was good that I got rid of one. Uh, little did I know he would draw another one, as you guys can see. But, um... I mean, you know, I'm under Reckless, I'm not able to do much, but that's why I enjoy Zen Main so much. The ability to be able to create a solid wall and not really have to worry too, too much outside of a compulse is a good feeling, and uh, I'm now able to draw it. As you guys can see, I did draw a return, so I set return. My whole plan when I draw this card is to use this card to win. Uh, I actually don't use this card at all this game, but uh, it's there as a backup if for some reason I do not win. So during my turn, I flip the Reckless Greed again. This is all three Reckless Greeds uh, that has allowed me to draw six cards throughout the game. And I'm fortunate enough to draw Snow. And when I draw Snow in Gates, I know I'm going to go off. And I draw into Beige. Uh, beige, like I've told you guys, is just so amazing. Uh, he did actually warning this summon, which I did not see coming at all. I did not read Solemn Warning at all for, for Beige for that effect. So that definitely threw me off, and I, that's why I run two Beiges. With two Beiges, I knew I'm going to get Graf on board, and I decide to go to the last gates, and I decide to bring up both Grafas and attack again. Once again, I wasn't reading a second Mirror Force. So as you guys can see in this play right here, I decide to push for it, hoping that you know with only another D-Prison, he's not going to be able to get rid of both of them. Um... 
And right there, I deck dev and I mind crush, which is such a broken like combo in this deck. It's just an amazing combo in this deck. And um, I made a mistake. I, I didn't attack that turn. I did that because I didn't want to. I wanted to set up the deck dev play, which I was able to do. Deck dev really hurts gadgets. So it works out really well. And as you guys can see, I drew Gateway to the Dark World. That's another card I'm maining one of. Uh, I really like the card. Uh, like I said, I'll explain my choices uh, soon in a profile. This was the play that I attacked and got Mirror Forced for two, and it kind of sucked. But that was my own fault for attacking into it. But once again, Grapha is the kind of card that is just going to keep coming back. As you guys can see, he decides to Dark Hole and Fiendish Chain Zen Mains. I lost Zen Mains completely that turn. But if you guys have seen what I've been drawing, you guys will see how this goes. He decides to summon Gear Frame, activate its effect, trying to get back in the game, and at that point, I Skill Drain, and that is how I end up winning. And I just hope you guys enjoyed this match. So like I said, you guys, I, I meant to say a game. I hope you guys enjoyed this game. I just wanted to upload it because I thought it was just a really good game, and I think we both played pretty well on both parts. Uh, like I said, I'm going to upload more of these games and matches as soon as I get more used to the recording technology. So let me know if you guys want to see more, and just comment below and thumbs up, and let me know what decks you'd like me to play besides Dark World and decks you want me to play against, and I'll definitely be bringing that to you guys soon. So hope you guys enjoyed this. Thumbs it up, and thank you for watching.